Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. Welcome to the Google conflicting accounts video series. In the last couple of videos, we discussed what are conflicting accounts, uh, how you can resolve them, what are your options to resolve those conflicting accounts and pros and cons of each of the options that's available to us and which option should we consider depending on our scenario. In this uh, video, I want to show you how you can find Google conflicting account. So let me share my screen here and let's talk about it. So, you know, we discussed in the last video that the journey from unmanaged or consumer account to a work account or managed account goes something like this, where, you know, you will register your domain, verify your uh, domain, then you will find conflicting accounts and then we will be able to take actions on them. So in this video, we will be focusing on finding uh, conflicting accounts in your Google Cloud Identity or Google Workspace domain. So there are essentially three logistics requirements that you must met to be able to find uh, or identify Google conflicting accounts in your Google Workspace or Cloud Identity domain. The first one is that your domain must be registered with Google. It can be Google Cloud Identity or it can be Google Workspace. Now, once you register your domain, of course, Google will only tell you that private information that who has the email account created or uh, consumer account created with that email address. Once you verify Google that you own this specific domain and you have rights to know that. OK, once you have these two conditions met, the third one is that you should have super admin role granted. Till today, which is uh, what, 7th of May, there is no delegated administration privilege for accessing the transfer tool or the transfer to tool utility that will show us these consumer accounts. So one should have the super admin rights to be able to see those consumer accounts. OK, so with those logistics requirements out of our way, let me show you a live demonstration uh, on how you can view those consumer accounts. OK, so here I will first log into my admin console. I'm a super admin as this is required to use this utility, which will show us the consumer accounts. Now, once you're here, you have two options. Like once you're in your home screen on your Google admin dashboard, you can either click on this transfer tool for unmanaged users. That's the utility which will help us convert unmanaged users to managed or work accounts. Or you can simply go to your users and under users, when you click on more, you will be able to see transfer tool for unmanaged users too. When you click on that, it will take you to this page where you will see all the consumer accounts that have been created, which are ending up in your company domain email address, as you see here. I just have this small demo account, so I just uh, see a few of them. But in case if you're a large corporation, don't be surprised if you see literally hundreds and thousands of users here. Now, if you scroll down here, it says rows per page and you can see max of 200 conflicting or consumer accounts at once here. But what if you have thousands of users instead of, you know, uh, scrolling through page by page, you have flexibility to download them by clicking on this bulk update unmanaged users. When you click on that, it will give you an option to download all unmanaged users in CSV files. So let me click on that and you will see that it's happening right here. It's preparing the file. Let me click on download. Now I have downloaded file here. I will better go to Google Drive and simply take this file, oops, take this file and upload it here. Okay, so I have my file in progress. Once it's uploaded, I will open that and let's maximize the columns. Okay, so now there are a few columns and I'll explain you one by one. Uh, what are they supposed to do? The first one is uh, user email. So this is the email of that 
a consumer account that's being created uh, with your corporate email address. The, the second one and third one, even these first three columns are writable, which means in the next videos when I will show you how you can bulk invite your users to transfer their consumer accounts to work accounts, you should be able to take this CSV, modify it a bit, and then upload back to transfer tool utility. So that's where you will be using these three columns, where in first column, you will have the user's consumer email uh, address. In the second one, you will, you know, it says no, but you can call it yes, so that when you upload it back to transfer tool, a request, a transfer request will be sent to these users. Similarly, in case if you have already uploaded the CSV file to send request, transfer request to these consumer users, you can say yes here so that that request can be canceled. Here, these three columns are read-only columns as you see in their uh, title here. The first one is request status. So in case if you already leveraged this CSV file, uh, or maybe did that manually, it will show you whether you have invited a specific user, as you see here, not yet invited, or invited, accepted, and in case if you sent a request which is rejected, you will also see rejected in front of that specific user. Now, request sent, it will show you how many requests have been sent to that specific user. And here you can also see the last action that you took on these specific users. So this is how you can leverage the CSV file in case if you have lots of users. Now, in case if you're a super large organization and prefer to do things via API so that you can do your own customization, I think Google has also launched a beta version of its uh, API, which will help you get all this information, like listing all the users who have created con uh, consumer accounts with corporate email address why the API as well. I will talk about that hopefully in, in some other video uh, on how you can leverage that specific API. I hope it was helpful for you to understand number one, what are the requirements for you to be able to see consumer accounts created uh, with your corporate email address right into your Google Admin Console and then go and see those and also download them to see them at once in the CSV file. In the next video, I will show you how you can send them invites, either via the admin console or maybe by leveraging the CSV file. So stay tuned. And in case if you have any questions, feedback or comment, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.